So I got another great question from one of my subscribers. The question is, is it sinful to have pictures of Jesus in your house? And this is a good question and a question I've wanted to answer for a long time because I have family members that have pictures, portraits. Uh, my grandmother has a large portrait in her kitchen of the, uh, the Last Supper, Jesus and his disciples, and they're all black. Like in the inner city, you'll notice uh, that a lot of stores will sell pictures of the black Jesus. And I don't mean his skin tone, darkness of his skin tone. I mean, literally, they made Jesus to be a black man. Uh, and that's also a lie. Now, I want to go ahead and explain in detail why having pictures of Jesus in your home is sinful. Now, when God first gave his law to mankind, he began with the statement of who he is. Let's take a look at Exodus 20, verse 2, where it says, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt. God reminds Israel often who he is. God is a jealous God. He's jealous for his glory and he's right to be jealous. And he's, you, if you've noticed throughout the, uh, the books of Moses, the, the four books after Genesis, that God is continually reminding Israel, remember who I am, remember what I did. And it's important that they remember because every time they forgot who he was, that's when they sinned. Every time they forgot who he was, that's when he came forth and killed and smited many of them. So it's important that we remember who he is. Uh, now, with this bold statement, he also gave Israel a stark warning that they were to have no other gods before him, no other gods but him. Now, he immediately followed this by forbidding the making of any image of anything in heaven, above or on earth, beneath or in the waters below. And you can find this in Exodus 20, verse 4, or by reading the second commandment. It's the second commandment, right? So it's interesting that the Jews or the Israelites were the first people to break this commandment. Now, you remember what happened in Exodus 32 when Aaron allowed the people, and this is one of the, the craziest things. Every time I read the Bible and I get to this part, I'm always shaking my head at Aaron, where he allows the, the Israelites to build a golden calf because they were upset that Moses was taking too long on the mountain. I mean, that's one of the, the dumbest things. It's like, where is your fear? Like these people were fearless, right? So, Sinful mankind has always desired to worship images, and the, re the reason for this is because it does not require faith to worship images. We need to remember that Christianity is a religion of faith, not sight, right? So when we have images, it's easy to worship that. It's easy to make an idol out of that image. Now, the second reason why having pictures of Jesus in your house will be considered sin is because we don't know what Jesus looked like. Okay. Now, it is true that we have been given descriptive clues as to certain attributes of his likeness that can be found in Revelation 1 in regards to his skin color and the texture of his hair. But that alone is not enough to establish a picture of him. So, so the truth is, if Jesus wanted us to know in detail how he looked, he would have it would have been recorded in the New Testament. But the reason why I feel like Jesus did not do this is because he knew that people would worship his image rather than him if, if he actually gave them descriptive details about his appearance. I mean, they already do this with Catholicism. They worship statues of Mary. We as sinners love to worship images because like I said before, it doesn't take faith to worship an image, right? So I hope I've answered this question. Uh, thank you guys for sending in the questions. And again, if you need my email, uh, it's in the, uh, it's on my page. So.